China has recently developed a new variant of the 4MV36 by 6 truck designed to carry and launch the ASN-301 loitering munition, marking a significant step in the modernization of the People's Liberation Army Ground Force PLAGF. Unveiled on November 29, 2024, this adaptation further strengthens the PLA's operational flexibility, with a new system capable of launching 6 ASN-301 units per vehicle. This development is part of a broader trend in the domain of loitering munitions, which has seen an increased focus on the rapid deployment of these systems through specialized vehicles. The ASN-301 is a cutting-edge loitering munition system designed for electronic warfare missions, including suppression and destruction of enemy air defenses, SCAD and DEAD. First introduced at the World Defense Show 2024 in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, the ASN-301, also known as the Narinko JWS-01 and Phylong 300A, is primarily intended to target radar systems operating in a frequency range of 2 to 16 GHz. Its design combines the characteristics of unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, with the striking capabilities of anti-radiation missiles, making it a formidable tool for neutralizing radar-based defense systems. Though smaller and with a shorter operational range compared to the Israeli Harpy, another well-known loitering munition, the ASN-301 offers notable advantages, including a higher maximum speed and more compact dimensions. Its specifications include a length of 2.5 meters, a weight of 135 kilograms, and a maximum speed of 220 kilometers per hour. The ASN-301 can remain airborne for up to 4 hours and has an operational range of 288 kilometers. It is capable of identifying targets within a 25-kilometer radius using a radar homing device and engaging up to eight predefined radar targets. With a warhead containing 7,000 fragments, the ASN-301 can achieve a destructive radius of 20 meters, making it a highly effective weapon for disabling enemy air defense systems. The development of the ASN-301 mobile launcher is part of a larger trend of rapid advances in loitering munitions technology. Several countries, including China, have been working on producing loitering munitions that replicate or are inspired by the Iranian Shahid-136. These munitions offer a cost-effective, efficient alternative to traditional weaponry. For instance, China has also developed the DFX-50 and DFX-100 loitering munitions, which vary in terms of range and payload. Other nations, such as Russia, have produced similar systems, with the Garin-2 drone being a variant of the Shahid-136. Belarus has also localized production of the Shahid-136, naming it the Nomad, and Turkey has created the Azab T-150 and T-200 drones, modeled on the Shahid-131 and Shahid-136. These systems, like the ASN-301, allow forces to perform targeted strikes without the need for manned aircraft, lowering operational costs while enhancing strike capabilities. The integration of loitering munitions like the ASN-301 with mobile platforms, such as the 4MV3 truck, is rapidly becoming a global trend. Israel's PULS system, for example, can launch up to six Skystriker loitering munitions, and Russia's multiple launch drone system, MLDS, on a Kamaz 5350 patrol vehicle can deploy up to 64 Lancet drones. Similarly, China has equipped its Dongfeng Mengshir vehicles with 48 tube launchers for FPV Kamikaze drones, further expanding its ability to deploy loitering munitions in various operational scenarios. This adaptability is also evident in the U.S., where AeroVironment Switchblade series can be launched from various vehicles, enhancing its deployment flexibility. South Korea's drone multiple launcher system, integrated with the Chunmu MRLS and LSAM systems, offers modularity for different mission requirements. These developments highlight a global trend towards integrating loitering munitions with diverse launch platforms, emphasizing operational versatility and rapid deployment. The use of loitering munitions, such as the ASN-301, has become increasingly relevant in modern conflicts, as seen in the ongoing war in Ukraine. These systems have proven to be effective in targeting armored vehicles and disrupting supply chains, showcasing their ability to strike time-sensitive or relocatable targets with precision. The success of loitering munitions in Ukraine has spurred further interest in their integration into military strategies worldwide with a growing focus on developing mobile and rapidly deployable systems capable of operating across diverse terrains. China's response to these developments is evident in the creation of versatile mobile launch platforms like the 4MV3 truck, designed to deploy loitering munitions quickly and efficiently. This move reflects the PLA's commitment to enhancing its response capabilities in future conflict scenarios, integrating loitering munitions into its broader military strategies.
China's introduction of the ASN-301 loitering munition and its integration with the 4MV-3 mobile launcher underscores the growing importance of these systems in modern warfare. With the ability to quickly deploy precision-guided munitions, loitering munitions are reshaping military strategies around the world, offering a cost-effective and adaptable solution for neutralizing enemy defenses. As nations continue to refine their loitering munition capabilities, the global trend of integrating these systems with specialized vehicles will likely expand, enhancing operational flexibility and responsiveness in the face of evolving military threats.